Okay, here's the second part of the video now uh, to show us how to do calculations on a form based on a checkbox. What we have is a, is a table here called data and that table has in it four fields, uh, again pretty randomly chosen, a field called subtotal, uh, another boolean field that says is extra required and that's the one we're going to be using uh, for our checkbox and then extra quantity which as its name suggests is the quantity of that extra that, it, that we actually want. Now the first thing I've done from that is to uh, is to create a form and the form's a fairly straightforward one as you can see it's just got all of the four fields on there with our checkbox here which we can switch on and off um, our extra quantity in a field and our subtotal sitting there. What I'm going to do is to add a, um, a text box at the bottom here that's going to show the results of a calculation depending on whether we click on that box or not. So then we go into design view and I'll go and get myself a text box. So I'll click on here and I'm going to do a little bit of editing on this first of all. I'm going to give it a label of total just to make sure that uh, we understand what's going on. And I'm going to bring up the properties of, of this one and I'm going to make sure that I call it total as well. That gives us a chance to, to refer to that much, much easier in our calculations. So that's all the setting up that needs to be done for that particular one. Um, what I now need to do is to go and select my, my checkbox because what I want to happen is I want an event to occur, the calculation, every time that, that that changes, every time that value is updated in that checkbox, we want something to happen. So we bring up the properties of the, uh, the checkbox and we can go into the event tab there and over here is a whole series of events that can happen to a, to a checkbox and the one I want to to affect is the after update so after update after every time that something changes whether it put a tick in it or take a tick out of that particular box now I'll click on the little dots at the end there and choose the code builder and yes we're going to write some visual basic code here but don't worry I'll give you the code and hopefully in true blue peter fashion here's one I prepared earlier um, normally what will happen is is that this will let's move that into view uh, we bring up the code editor here and it comes up with a blank but I happen to have um, produced that code already and I've just copied and pasted that in there um, you'll obviously have to either type it in yourself or get the code from somebody who has done that and this is what I'm trying to do this is just a comment here I'm going to say my total is going to be the subtotal plus a £20 standing charge plus however much extra quantity I want multiplied by £1.50. Now that's similar to something that's appeared in, in one of the tasks before and what we've got here in our code says if the checkbox is ticked then make the total equal to the subtotal plus the 20 that's the £20 up there plus the extra quantity multiplied by £1.50 and I've, I've just chosen the £1.50 as, as a random value there so okay, let's just run through that again make the total equal to the subtotal plus a standing charge of 20 plus the extra quantity that we want multiplied by £1.50 else, in other words, if the checkbox isn't ticked then the total should be the subtotal i.e. we're not adding anything to it at all OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close down the Visual Basic Editor there and also close down the, the properties and I'll go into the value here Now, hopefully what will happen now when we check off that box you can see that the 100 has been copied into the total box down there and when I click on the calculation has happened as you saw in the original example um, and makes that 135 so 10 times £1.50 is 15 plus the standing charge of 20 is 35 added to the subtotal there gives you 100 plus 35 135 now the only thing I haven't done in this example is to format that box there um, to be currency which I'm sure you'll be able to do on your own